Welcome back. This video is designed for our DIYers. When it comes to crack repair in your foundation, monitor it, pay attention to it. The more historical data that you can give me when I come out to your house to, to look at, at actual repairing your house and your foundation problem, the more in depth and the better project plan I can give you. What does this mean? If you have a crack in your basement wall and it is an eighth of an inch at the base and a half an inch at the top, you can go to your local hardware store and grab some hydraulic cement, mix it up, use this. Hydraulic cement is made to stop water. If water is penetrating in, make sure your crack is dry. Once the crack is dry and you want to keep this as clean as possible, Take some duct tape and duct tape around as close as you can to the crack. That way you don't make a big obnoxious mess. Mix up the hydraulic cement. You're going to have to do small batches. Hydraulic cement dries extremely fast. So what you're going to want to do is make a couple batches, one at a time, and then take a small margin trowel of some sort. You can get all of these at your Lowe's or Home Depot or your local building supply store. You're going to mix up the paste. It's going to be a really, really gluey paste. And when you push, get it into the depth of the crack as deep as you can. Work it from the bottom all the way to the top. Once you get to the top, you can go back as it's curing, it'll start to heat up and you'll actually feel it starting to heat up. You're going to get this and seal from the edge to the edge of the crack as well as you can. If this is done properly, your crack should stop or at least slow it down tremendously. What this is going to show myself or you in the long run is what's going to happen is, is when that crack begins to move, because remember, concrete or mortar is not pliable. It's going to break. It doesn't bend or stretch. So what this will do is it'll slow down or eliminate the water coming in, but it'll also show you how much the crack is continuing to grow, which is going to show you how bad and how fast the foundation is sinking or the wall is moving. So what basically what this means is if you seal it shut and it stops, check it out once a week, once every couple weeks. And if you can see a crack reopening and it opens up and you can see an eighth inch crack, document right down on the wall with a Sharpie. The date of when that crack was filled in, then you can come back in, fill that in, and then rewrite the date again, and you're gonna see the expansion growth. There are professional gauges that you can install on the wall as well. Some of these are a little bit harder to find, but this is the most cost-effective way to remedying it yourself. For more information, hit the subscribe button below.